Hi there again, Marker Boy with you. Jane and B and I just got back from a road trip uh, at Southern Interior BC. One of the places we visited was the very interesting historic mining town of Headley, BC. I've always wanted to stop there. It was off season, things were kind of quiet, and as we kicked around, we ran into a very affable fellow, Rod, and his wife, Valerie, who very kindly showed us around uh, the little gallery they're setting up based on the work of a local artist that Rod has come to know. So have a look and see what you think. This is the Black Light Art Gallery and it, uh, the, the fellow's name is jo uh, Mar Maurice Jocelyn and he's lived in Headley here for just about 20 years and it just blows everybody away. They come out of this room in a totally different frame of mind than when they went into it. Well, it's certainly not what you expect to see in, in, in Headley. See. Yeah, well, let's go inside. <laughs> Take me inside. Come on in. Seven years of construction, and just you know, just the the uh, searching out of the elements that comprise the the statue, right? Yeah. The thing is, what they are is marble stands, oh. and you put your marbles in all these spots, and, it, and you can show off your marble collection. Oh, because like some of these guys, you know, like. Way too much fun. Well, all the marbles, he's got marbles everywhere. And he's got boxes of marbles. Like his marble collection is just phenomenal. And like all the statues have marbles, or if they're painted, there's golf balls, right? Yeah, yeah, I saw them. Pool balls. balls. Yeah. Big heavy, uh, these are uh, balls out of the ball mill. Just amazing. Like it, there's everything in here. Out of this the, way, is so that the black light aspect of the gallery. Ooh. Does that pick that up? Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, pretty spooky. A little Pink Floyd goes a long way. Then I do these. Uh, the flowers over the, here. Yeah. The, the, the pods. The milkweed. Oh, it's the milkweed. Mark, did you see these? And I hit them with fluorescent hairspray. And then, then you get into uh, doubling up with the colors, you know, do one color and then frost it with another color. Yeah. And uh, just, you know, people try to take them home, but they're, they're not very, they're quite fragile. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Jane? I think it's pretty neat. It's quite a discovery. It's made of, it's given the, the room a purpose. Sorry, the, the, this this one's my favorite with the reptilian head on it. See this? Uh, a lot of Christians get off on this one for some reason. Oh, know. I can <laughs> see it. Yeah. And you can see the person in front. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. yeah. It's kind of like an outline, and it's not very distinct or anything, but it's there. Oh, de definitely see it. Yeah. <laughs> and then if we switch the lights on, it looks totally different. Well, that's neat how that happened. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, this, you've got all your stash of paintings in here. And Morris got, look at all these. <laughs> oh. And so. This, and this was the... Um, this was the new car showroom. Boy, they were small cars in the day. You get what three or four cars? Well, in you here? might get one or two in here, old Model Ts. Yeah. Right. But, uh, from that, from the 1930s. Yeah. Twenty. You said 1928. 28. On. It was, Plymouth came out in 1928, and this was built as a Plymouth dealership. Uh, it was a livery stable that burnt down before that. Oh, and a completely wooden. There was, uh, 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 meat market, pool hall, dry goods store, service station, hotel, hotel, hotel. Wow, and this it was, was... This was downtown. 
And it was the gold that drove... Gold, silver, copper. Precious metals. You should see his watercolors. They're just... Oh, oh my oh. goodness. Oh, see, so I'll have to get a few framed and get those up, too. Uh, it, it'll be a print situation where you take a, and do like a hundred numbered yeah. prints of each. There's some of them, like over there, are four foot. Like three foot by four foot, so it does, and four of them go together. What he does is he takes and does a, like a sheet of color, watercolor. Then he lays four of them on top of each other. Then he'll take a pattern, like the tree of life that repeats itself, mm -hmm. and he'll cut through all four sheets then transpose them and glue them all back together, right? So you wind up with a collage on the wall that's just phenomenal. It's, you know, like it's, it's unreal. So there you have it. As you can see, there's some pretty interesting things to see in Headley. Um, thanks once again. Thanks very much to Rod for showing us around his gallery. And uh, take a look at my channel, Markaboy, and subscribe.